Hello. We're on a car adventure. Um, it's a solo trip. I'm about to just go over and see if I can catch a couple of smallies. I know there's some people floating down the river, so it may kind of suck. I need to go over some fish, but hopefully I'm far enough behind them and I'm walking. Um, I got one pole here and just a little junk box. Hopefully everything in there we can get something going. Um, but yeah, of course, stay tuned. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. If I catch some fish, like. If I don't catch enough fish, thumbs down. Uh, whatever you want to do. Um, comment, hateful, grateful, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll take it all. Okay. So there's another video with me and my kid that I'll be posting here soon. I hope I can find my jig that's up here at this little drain off. Um, basically what I'm gonna have to do right now is walk through most of this crap. Um, got my Walmart water shoes on. Yeah. Barking spiders up. Feels like a snake is on my leg. I don't know, I may be too tired to walk back. It's this hard doing it. Uphill. Or upstream, downstream. I may have to get out and walk. And just suck it up. My jig is over there somewhere. Like I said, hopefully it's clear enough and shallow. But I know there's there should be some fish right along this bank over here. So I'm going to come over here. Attempt to make a couple casts. Um... And as you see, it's 749 at night. Oh, there we go. A little one. Let's see if we can get one of these bigger ones to eat this jig. trying to drag it along where I know they should be at. Like I said, bluer. There it is. Looky there, boys. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna... And girls, because I know I have a couple of female watchers. Hmm. 
This is my first day using the bait caster. So I'm just kidding. Oh, there we go. It's not a big one, but it's bigger than that other one. <clears throat> a little pounder. Jeez. So, I don't know where the camera's going, but something's better than nothing, you know? Come out here to go fish. And that's what we're doing, so. And you'll see in my, actually, you know what? This may be the area that I was talking about, not down there. That um, all those smallmouth and those, um, and the rock bass that I was speaking of, those actually may be right here instead of down at that other section where I didn't catch anything, where I said normally they're at. I bet this is actually it. Which, yeah, I should know, but. Out of breath, rushing that six pounder boy on the river. I don't want to get to the point where I'm saying here, fishy, fishy, either. But, if that's what I gotta do... This is when the fish bites is when you're getting your line untangled. Eight twenty-two. Oh, I did not know that one was right there. He literally had to have been two feet from me, or either he followed it from quite a bit away. I didn't even know he was on me. Another little eight inch bass. But even these smallies fight so, so good. So even those Ones that literally weigh less than a pound, in my opinion, I guess, fight like a one or two pound bass. When you hook into a, uh, like a two or three pound smallie, it just, you, you just, it feels like you have like a, a 10 pound catfish on or something. But maybe that's just for Indiana. Maybe Indiana or the stretch of river that I usually fish, maybe they just have mean smallmouth. Ooh, we caught a tablecloth. this area. There we go. Yep.
little one. But right down. There we go. It's not a big one, but it's a fish. And he's I didn't think he knew he was caught there for a second. Jeez. I'm trying to help you, bruh. There's some bigger ones through here. Get out right here. All right, so there you have it, folks. We caught a couple of little ones right here on the uh, White River. A couple smallmouth. I thought there were going to be more. I'm just glad that the water was real clear and that I got my jig back, even though I lost my other one. Um, but I guess the real only thing that really matters is that we've got some. Um, so until next time.